Hi guys, welcome back. TVS's Jupiter Grandi is the premium 110cc scooter from TVS. Design-wise, it is reminiscent of the Activa 5G, but has extra touches to give it a premium finish. The model we tested is the Jupiter Grandi Edition disc variant and the main body part is made of metal, which is a really good thing for durability. One thing I noticed straight away is that the paint quality is really good and I'm really impressed. There is only one color option available and it is the starlight blue. One of the striking feature of the Grandi is the diamond cut alloy wheels. It looks stunning and it is the best alloy wheels I've seen in a scooter in this segment. The rim size is 12 inches and both the front and the rear tire are 90 mm in thickness and they are the tubeless type. The front mudguard houses this chrome finish section which is for aesthetic purpose and it gives a classic look. The main front panel houses the indicators which looks sharp and it's like an angry eye. Then you get the headlight which has a TVS branding. Now the headlight has a pilot light which is underneath the main headlight and both the main headlight and the pilot light is LED. This is a really good addition. The beam is strong and has a wide coverage. Even in pitch dark conditions, you won't have any issues. You can see sufficiently far, but I preferred a bit more coverage in terms of length. But for the width of coverage, it's really good and overall I'm happy with its head light. One more minor thing here is that the mirrors have a chrome accent to give a classic touch. The rear design is simple and elegant with LED tail light and indicators flanked on either side. The Jupiter Grande Edition has body colored pillion grab rail which is a comfortable grab rail. The fuel tank access is also here and the fuel tank capacity is 5 liters. Now to open the fuel tank, you need to insert the key on the main body and then twist it towards the left. If you twist it to the right, you get access to the under seat storage. You cannot fit in a large fully covered helmet here, but you can fit in a medium sized fully covered helmet or large size semi covered helmet. It's sufficiently big and you can also use the space to carry your personal items. You can also get an optional mobile charging socket here. The seat is a premium looking seat and has this cross stitch pattern. The seat color is the maroon color and overall it looks pretty neat. And as I said before, every design choice here has a premium touch and that's also noticeable with the beige colored panels. Now it looks nice, but for sure after some time, this one will get dirty and won't be looking so good. Speaking about good, the speedometer console is a good looking console. It is the digital analog type and the digital part has a blue backlight and under bright sunlight, it has good visibility and it shows the time, fuel level, distance covered, trip, etc. The console looks really clean at night and has this Jupiter branding on the analog portion which shows the speed. Then for the handle, it's a normal scooter type handle and as I said before, you can see the beige coloring scheme here. For the switch controls, you get the Dimba bright switch with integrated pass light, indicator toggles and horn on the left side and just the cell start switch on the right side. The ignition port on the Jupiter Grande gets the shut lock mechanism which can be closed and opened with this back portion of the key. It's not a secure system but still it's a good addition. Then for the hooks, you get a front and rear retractable hook and they are of much better quality than the one in the TVS NTORC. These hooks can be used for hanging some grocery bags or something like that. For the exhaust, it's a standard looking one with a chrome finish protector which has CVTI branding and there is only a single exhaust port here. And finally, one more minor thing with the design is that the pillion fold away footrest has a greyish black paint scheme which looks different. So for the design, the design choices used are really good. There are chrome finish styling at places along with a unique seat pattern and color scheme and a stunning body paint job with LED headlight, diamond cut alloy wheels, etc. makes the Jupiter Grande Edition a classic premium style scooter. And surely, the design of the Grande Edition will appeal a wider range of people. The next thing we are going to check are the technical specification and then let's find out how's the ride quality and comfort. The engine that powers the Jupiter Grande Edition is the 109.7cc air-cooled 4-stroke single cylinder CVTI engine. The maximum power it produces is approximately 7.885 bhp at 7500 rpm and maximum net torque it produces is 8.4 newton meter at 5500 rpm. This engine is really quick to respond and the acceleration is abrupt and you can gain speed easily. There isn't any vibration on the handle or from any body parts. Engine sounds refined and even in the 60s and 70s, the riding experience is really smooth. So overall, I like the engine quality and performance of the Jupiter Grande. The seating posture of the Jupiter Grande is upright. 
The handlebar is positioned a bit on the lower side, but there isn't any discomfort. The seats have sufficient cushioning and the seating height for the rider is 765 mm. One thing is that I felt a bit on the lower side for the seat height and I think it's because of the seat design. And after riding for approximately 50 km in a stretch, the seats felt a bit discomfortable. It's just the seat and not the overall riding experience. But for the pillion, the seats provide good comfort. For the suspension, TVS used good suspension on the Jupiter Grandi. The front is a telescopic suspension and the rear is a three-step adjustable gas-charged monoshock suspension. I rode through some rough conditions and I never experienced any stress or strain. So I'm really happy with the suspension used here. Now for the brakes, this is the Grandi edition with disc and this one has the front 220mm disc and a rare 130mm drum brake. Here you also get SBS braking technology which is the SYNC braking system. It is identical to CBS braking system which is combi braking system that Honda uses. What SBS does is that when the rear brake lever is pressed, it activates the front and rear brake simultaneously for more controlled and effective braking. The braking of the Jupiter Grande Edition is really good. I didn't experience any skits at control speed and the brakes respond well for stopping and I'm happy with the brakes used. Now the final thing I'm going to check is the mileage and the price. The claim mileage of the Jupiter Grande is 62 km per liter and we tested the scooter in city and we got approximately in the 50 to 55 km per liter range, which is good for a scooter. This may vary based on the way you ride. And finally for the price, this is the Grande Edition with disc and it cost approximately 64,790, which is the ex showroom pricing. And if you get the variant without disc, it will cost approximately around 61,320, which is again the ex showroom pricing. The pricing is a bit on the higher side and it is to an extent justifiable because of the premium parts used. So like always, the main question is, should you get the Jupiter Grande Edition for this price? Well, it totally depends upon your preference. If you want a premium looking scooter with all the best features in this segment, then surely you can go for the Jupiter Grande Edition. But if you don't want to spend this much for a scooter, there are other options available at a much lower price, which doesn't give this premium look, but will give good ride quality and comfort. That's all for this video guys. Hope you liked it. If so, please do hit the like button and please do subscribe. And before you go, if you want to listen to the exhaust note, here you go.